Okay, we're back. Remember where we left off was uh, we're on the windows. I'm going to uh, show you the paint bucket tool later that will make those look like windows. Oh, what happened to our door? I think I used the undo button a few more t a few more times than what I had to, but you remember from the earlier vi earlier video that you have to use the eraser tool to erase all of these lines. I'm not going to erase them all right now. Actually, you can click, hold, and drag to erase multiple lines, but be careful because you might end up exploding your whole house. I've decided to make a change, though. I'm going to make this a two-story house, so I'm going to orbit back around so that, and zoom out so that I can see my whole roof. Remember what I did when I made the roof. So I'm going to grab that move tool and drop this back down until it's flat. How do I know when it's flat? I depend on the axis. Move tool on the red axis. That should be good. Erase that line. Actually, I'm going to erase the whole roof or ceiling. Orbit back around. Make a rectangle for a ceiling. Rectangle. Remember, we have a floor. Now we have a ceiling. Orbit back around and pull that up to about 18 feet. Scratch that. Move it up. Oh my goodness! I must not have made gotten that exactly flat. Probably everyone's going to do that, so let me show you how to fix it. Let's check the tape measure. 22 feet. Let me move that down just a little bit. Um, yeah, okay. 21 feet. I'm using the, the keys on the keyboard for my tools. It's much quicker, except for the tape measure. I think that's T. Wouldn't that make sense? 21 feet, close enough, I don't want to hold you up, but 18, 19 feet is about right. Actually, 20 feet plus the roof. Erase those lines. That's all you have to do. Gone, gone. Don't forget, you've got some on both sides. Erase. Bye-bye. Erase. Now, if you're going to make additions on your house, I wouldn't suggest making windows on both sides just yet. By the way, the hand tool is your friend. H on the keyboard. If making an addition is this easy. Now remember that we, if it's a single story addition, you only want to go up nine feet. There's nine feet three. I'm going to go across here and hold that. Notice in the bottom right hand corner shows how the size of my rectangle and it should be, the height should be nine feet. Approximately. It's really hard to get it exact. 8 feet 11. Ooh, 8 feet 11 is pretty close to 9 feet. Push pull tool will bring that out quicker than anything. Now I need to put some roofs on there. So, kind of the same thing I did before line tool with the L, exact middle, exact middle. Move, not push pull, there's a difference. Move that up straight up on the blue axis. Let's go around here. You don't want to put the roof on the same way that you did that one. Watch what happens. Line tool, midpoint, midpoint. Move up because guess what? Snow and water collects in here. You can't have, that's like an unrealistic house. A couple of undos. Undo the line. So, this is the way you do it on a house. The roofs have to actually have to go perpendicular to one another. That goes like that. Move that dude up like so. Orbit around to see what we've got. That looks more like the real deal. So, single story over here, two story over here. I'm going to need some more windows up on top. If you're not too fussy, you can copy and paste your windows. Whoops, you don't want 
Uh, you know how to do that. I showed you that in the last video, too. What else? Oh, yeah, there's a spot for snow to get in. Trying things will get you everywhere. Drag this dude down. No. How do I fill that spot in? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um. Move tool. What? No. What just happened there? Okay, so we can't use the move tool to bring this in and protect our house. You can see how there's a hole in here. You can actually see right inside the house. This is a little trick that's going to help you do a lot of different things. Let's zoom out, orbit around to the other side. Every time you want to do something with an object like that, you have to make it its own object. So I need to make that triangle that's above this line. Now it's it's a separate object from the base. I mean, it happens that quick. SketchUp just made it a completely separate object. Now if I take the Move tool, I can drag this roof right in like that. Looking good. Looking good. I can erase that line. No, I can't. Don't want to. Actually, I want to move that line up. Do I want to erase it? Let's try that. Can't hurt anything. Oh, gosh, that's not good. Um, pause bit. Actually, there's nothing wrong with that. The water will run off just fine like so, and we're going to continue. Um, I want to let you go to work here pretty soon. The paint bucket video will be the third one. Here's how you put a yard in. You're going to zoom out as if you were in a, an airplane or a helicopter and get the rectangle tool. You choose the size of the yard. Big yard. Stay tuned for help with... Paint tool. Next.